Hello, um, right, let's solve some equations involving logarithms. Okay, so we'll take the first one. Um, one solve for x, of course, so we can combine these guys. So for question one, log x plus log of x minus y is log of x times x minus one, right? And that is equal to log of 3x plus 1. 3x plus 1. Okay. Okay, so you have log of something is plus log of that. So they have to be equal, right? So x into x minus 1 has to be equal to 3x plus 1. We can expand this. This is x squared minus x. When I bring this, Zero. So I'm going to get x squared minus 4x minus 4 is 0. So it's a quadratic that we need to solve. We look for factors of negative 4. We get negative 4 here. That will be 6 and 2. So negative that, right? So x plus 2, x minus 6 is 0. So solution x is Now, you always have to check this. Remember when we, when we introduced the logarithm, we said that the argument must always be positive. So you go back to the original equation to ensure that if you put, put any of these, that is satisfied. So note that here, if you come back to the original equation, x to the negative 2 will give you log of negative 2, which is not defined. Okay? So x is called the negative 2, can't be a solution. All right, x is negative two is not a solution, right? Since log of negative two from here, okay? Log of negative two is not defined. All right, then we try the six. If you put six there, we have log six, that is fine, log of, 6 minus 1 is 5, that is okay, you have log 5, and this is obviously fine, right? This time this, you get a positive here. So the only solution is x is equal to 0. So the solution, if you like, x is equal to 6, not 0. That is the only solution, okay? So you always have to check out for that when you are solving equations involving logarithms. Okay, let's do number 2. Number two, we have we have what? This log to the base four of this minus is minus. So we can group this guys, right? So we can write this as log to the base four of x plus one all over x, right? Which is minus this. And that is equal to what? Two. Which means this can be written as remember this. This means x plus 1 over x is equal to 4 raised to the power 2. 4 squared is 16. So you have to rewrite this out. So x plus 1 is 16x. 16x minus x is 15x. So 15x is equal to 1 implies that x is equal to 1 over 15. We will go back to the original equation. If I put 1 over 15 here, this will be defined. Put 1 over 15, that is defined. So that is the solution. Okay? Good. Let's look at the last one. And that will be done. We have... We have... Um, log to the base 3 of x. All of this raised to the power 2 minus log base 3 of x squared. Alright? Of course, x squared can write it as that. So, question 3, I have log is 3x, all of this is raised to the power 2 minus, this I can write as 2 log to the base 3 of x, and that is equal to 3. Okay, so notice that this is a quadratic, alright? I have a variable here, log to the base 3 of 
x is squared. I have the same variable appearing there. That is log 2 base 3 of x. Okay? So what you do is that you can say let y be equal to log 2 base 3 of x. And then solve the quadratic for y. After that, you try to get x. Okay? So here, from here, if y is this, I mean, then this guy will be y squared. Right? This is y squared minus 2. This is y. I bring this here, I get negative 3. It's equal to 0. So you solve this as a quadratic, right? I have negative 3 factors of this. That will give me negative 2, uh, negative um, 3, and 1. So I have y squared minus y plus y minus 3y minus 3 is 0, y, y plus 1, pull out 3, y plus 1 is equal to 0. Let's go back here, we don't need these guys. So we come here, and then this implies that y plus 1, y minus 3 is 0, so y is negative 1 or y is equal to 3, right? Now, remember we are not solving for what we need x, alright? So, if y is negative 1, implies that log to the base 3 of x is negative 1, which implies that x is equal to 3, raised to the negative 1, which is 1 over 3. Okay? And if y, let me try to get the marker. If y is equal to 3, this implies log to the base 3 of x is equal to 3, which means that x is equal to 3, raised to the power 3, which is 27. Okay? So the values of x are, 1 over 3 or 27. Again, you go back to the original equation and you see that both are both satisfy the equation, right? One third and negative is defined, this is defined, 27, 27 makes it defined, it makes that defined as one. Well. Okay? So your solutions are x is one third and then 27. Alright? Okay, that's it for uh, for now. Thank you.